Let's have a look at this voltage regulator circuit one more time. This is from chapter 11 in your Malvino book. Um, to start with, we have a current path this way. We have a standard Zener regulator with its uh, contributing resistor here. Uh, this develops a certain voltage at this point right here, um, depending on what the Zener voltage is. Um, we have 0.7 volt drop across here. Uh, current would be going this way, so this current through R1 would be contributing base current to the Zener. And base current, uh, being what it is, very small, is uh, we're going to ignore it for the most part. We'd have a 0.7 volt drop here. We have V Zener here, so at this point here we have V Zener plus 0.7 volts. Um, v R2 is equal to V Zener plus 0.7 volts. I R2, uh, by the way, is equal to I R1 is equal to V Zener plus 0.7 volts divided by R2 and that voltage at this point is set up by the Zener plus the 0.7 volts. Uh, to restate, um, what do you imagine the current through IR1 is? IR1 is equal to, how about IR2? There's no other place for it to go. Base current here is very small, so we're going to ignore it. Uh, the current through R1 is the same current as through R2. So, if uh, we find that current here, then we find current through R2, and the voltage VR2 is equal to IR1, excuse me, VR1 is equal to IR1 or IR2 times R1. Voltage V out is equal to, well, let's go back up here, V out is equal to VR1 plus VR2. Uh, let's have a look at what happens when the voltage here, a lot of times this is a, a nice DC and it's got a bunch of crud on top of it, or maybe it's just a, like it's out of a um, bridge rectifier circuit, it would have all these humps on it, so it wouldn't be a steady DC voltage, but it'd be close. Um, but you have this voltage fluctuation from here to here. What do we? What happens when this happens? Let's see. Let's look at it when voltage is at its lowest. We have. Let's say this is our our um, nominal voltage right here. It's. Uh, the minimum voltage, so V out has to be less than actually that. Um, what happens when the voltage increases here? The voltage, this is V in, this is V out. So if the voltage here increases like this, then if this voltage increases, let's say that this voltage also tries to increase. If this voltage increases here, the current through R1 would increase. Um, current through R2 would not because it's set up by this Zener, this plus 0.7 volts, so we have a constant voltage here. Well, what happens to that extra current that goes through here if the voltage at this point, at the emitter of uh, Q1 uh, increases. Well, if that increases, the current through here increases, 
the current through here and through the zener would increase. If you increase the base current in a transistor, the collector current will increase by uh, whatever beta is. So the current here increases, um, the current here increases, the voltage across R4 because of higher current through it uh, increases driving this voltage down which drives this voltage down. So if we tried to increase this, this regulator circuit here would drive the voltage back down. 